That's the way I wake up. When the birds are up, I get up. It's time to go to work. But what luscious work. And I'm producing my own beats here. And through this work, I've learned and developed my own systems of farming and gardening. Rather than planting single rows, I have soil that I've built up that's so good and so fertile, I can really bulk out my rows to produce five times the amount of crops in a garden this side that most people would be able to produce. And I've just learned all that working with nature. Even some of the herbs I'm pulling in the garden here, like you see this yellow dock, that's one of the main herbs in the salve I make. That plant's been tracked back 5,000 years and been used for skin diseases, liver, and digestion. I use it today for medicines. It can also be used as a food. It used to be called creasy greens. It's nice there's such a strong organic movement around the Athens and Megs area now. It's Refreshing, but when I got here in 1970-71, it was pretty much me. At one point I realized, well, I can't do it myself, and that's going to take more than me. So after a while, I started inviting other students and interns in here and friends in here to buy land. And where at one time I had 80 acres here, that 80 acres for me turned into 700 acres, and now there's 3,000 acres around me of like-minded friends. And it's not a commune. Everybody's got their own farm and is involved in their own part of life. But we're a community and we think similarly and we're trying to protect the forest, not take it down. So every day's different. I grew up in the 60s. I wanted to get away from the crap of the cities. I wanted to learn how to be totally responsible. I mean, every morning I wake up, I'm responsible for animals, for my food, for my water, for my shit. Whatever it is, I make myself responsible for it, for this community I live in, for the people who come to me for herbal advice. It's not a path that most people would choose, especially in this day and age where you're being told what to buy, what to eat, how to look, how many cars you need, how much money you need to make. It's a different world now, a real different world. But I so wanted to escape. Heck, I grew up in New York City. You can imagine how bad I wanted to escape. But my family still lives there. They're all New Yorkers. I can't stand it. The madness of having to produce a certain amount of money. The madness of neighbors living upon neighbors. The madness of working for the man. I never want to work for the man. I work for the woman. I work for nature. And she is my boss. I really want to change the planet. I don't know that I'm doing it fast enough, but my means of changing the planet is drawing people back out to the natural world. And that's what I have to offer this world. That's what my life is all about. If I feel something strong enough and didn't do anything about it, what the hell am I going to do? I'm bullshit. Basically, I'm bullshit. I didn't want to be bullshit. I just didn't want to be bullshit. I didn't want to talk about stuff and not live it. And it's by living it or talking to you and you putting the word out there or having students here that my life becomes real. You know, it becomes meaningful. I don't know the effect my life will have, but I just now uh, try to do the best with the skills I've been given by people who were willing to give me the skills. It's a mockingbird singing over us right now. Hear all its different songs. So many different songs. <laughs> 